Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Yeah, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. But I'd say that was a really successful little uh, little shindig out there. Since I tasted it. You know that our supply is limited. It could be a season or more before we... The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. That's bold talk coming from a cat that lives in a fucking desert. Uh, I've heard you've been running into trouble along the road. It is all in this note. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Uh, I'm curious about your homeland. The Karit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. That's uh, that's really nice dialogue. I don't think that uh, I think that was in the vanilla game actually. Take a look. Take a look. Beer, mm, beer. We're gonna disenchant all this shit. Especially the resist magic. We need that. I can't wait to make that ring. Don't let that meme ring. Magic isn't real, idiot. And then like. Resist magic 158% or some shit. So there is some stuff I need to do when we get in the city. I need to disenchant some items. Uh, I want to upgrade some items I've got. But first, you know, our first real quest. Because like, that wasn't a quest. We just went out and killed some bandits because I wanted to get kitted out. Rasad's note on bandit attacks. Let's look at this. Ooh, the Saints and Seducers Bandit Camps. Okay, so this is a mod I have, I think. I'm confused by how many mods I have. The roads have been unkind to this one, plagued by outlaws along the route from Whiterun to Markarth. Guards travel with Rasad, yes, but they are ill-equipped to deal with the ones such as this. They wield strange golden weapons and wear gleaming armor. Rasad has read it. Rasad has read of such things only in stories. Their encampment is found just west of North Brittleshin Pass. Each time they set upon us, they shout, "The saints would like to browse your wares today." The brutes steal mostly trinkets and oddities, no matter how cheap this one knows them to be. Then they allow Rasad to go on his way. Rasad has not fought back. While it has harmed this one's coin purse, it is not worth a life. Real shit, actually. Rasad has heard of another gang patrolling the roads further north, calling themselves the Seducers. They are known for their menacing dark armor. Skyrim grows more perilous by the day. They are known to camp along the road west of Fort... Castav. Sorry, the font was a little weird to my eyes there for a second. This one would pay handsomely to any who would help. Rasad fears for any who might come to come to harm at the hands of these worrisome pests. So definitely, we're gonna have to deal with that. Can't be letting these uh, these ruffians disrupt the local economy. That's interesting. So the stuff that was here changed because she started working on the Legion stuff. Is that that's weird? That's cool. It was different earlier. Hmm. Yo, what? Oh. 
That's kind of strange. You still gotta. I'm gonna still show up here and pray in the morning, but that's kind of. That not pissing me off, dog. That we ain't got the altar no more. I guess that makes sense. We're doing. Um, mm. We have a lot of Civil War mods. Hey yo, dude, you looking slick in this mod? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. You look like a great warrior yourself with that magnificent fucking beard you know, and them luscious the locks you got, dog. You join the mages God damn. If you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display here in this room. Until next time. I'm gonna kill you. Snagged a, a cheeky little level off of uh, raising some skills. And we're gonna go health again. We're gonna be a big freak shit house of a dude. I think we're gonna level heavy armor a little bit. Actually, I kind of want to deal more damage. We're kind of we're kind of eating hits right now. Like I've gotten my health low. I think one time. But I wanna, I wanna be getting this stuff, stuff raised up. Yes. Yes. Let's go ahead and sleep for the night, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. My two percent of my, uh, my viewers are female, I think. Girls, I wanna see men. You awaken feeling well rested. If only uh, I could pull that off in real life, man. So there's the Saints Bandit camp, and then where is the Seducers Bandit? Oh, it's up in the the mountains. Helgen, yeah. I guess we'll uh, we'll head over to the uh, the Saints Bandit camp, but uh, I think first we're gonna go to Riverwood because the uh, stones are there, the standing stones. This game really is just strikingly beautiful. I'm sure you'll see the uh, the V-roll. I just spent like an hour taking it. <laughs> um, man. Dude, the music. I'm gonna be quiet. Man, okay, so I just heard there's like custom music when you discover certain locations. And man, that was just so nice, like walking up to the the village and hearing that. Dude, that was that was like mind blowing, dude. This is what the game should have been. So much of this game with like mods just makes it much better. Like it is unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, we're on our way to the standing stones over here, because I want to pick up that warrior stone. I'm also kind of excited to show you guys what the new warrior stone does. Uh, all the stones are different and have varying levels of power. Hello, motherfucker. You doggies know who Michael Vick is? Oh, they know, they know, they know. Get the fuck out of here. By the way, that joke I just made about Michael Vick, that just made me sad, actually. Like, I felt a sting of pain in my heart after bringing that up. Dude, that looks so good. Like, the water looks real. I mean, not that. That's, you know, but it's it's as close to real as you can get in this, this engine. God, man, that is just gorgeous. Dude, that is just, that is just beautiful. 
Those under the sign of the warrior inflict more damage and pa uh, with power attacks and long range shots, which is definitely what we want. That's kind of what we're doing with our character right now. They gain additional experience in all warrior skills. That'll be nice. You may only have one blessing at a time. Uh, let's just look at all three of these since we're here. Uh, inflict more sneak attack damage and sneak more effectively. Bust that. Uh, cast more effective spells and scrolls. They gain additional experience in all mage. So these are really close to the same. Really close. But like a bunch of the other ones are just wildly different. And I'm probably going to change, but for now we're going to do the... Uh, the warrior standing stone. Just because it makes the most sense. Later we'll probably get like Atronach. Uh, because it, uh, you know, that, that magic resistance, that magic absorption is real good. We're so close to Helgen, I could go over there and start the main quest, but I said that we were going to go deal with, uh, these guys, the Saints Bandit. So we're gonna fast travel back to Pelagia Farms and get moving. But man, it was nice seeing Riverwood. I... The mods I have, the great, like, it's it's called, like, the great town, the great village, the great city of, insert city it changes. Dude. Phenomenal. Absolutely fantastic. I think this is it. Let me check. Yeah, this is definitely it. What the hell? You guys see that <laughs> that shit spawn in over there? Detected by what? I don't see any enemies. see me. Yo, why are these guys tanky? Oh my god! What? Dude! <laughs> I saw that they were tanky. I didn't think they were gonna roll up and rock my shit. Where the fuck am I now? Is this right before I fast? Yeah, this is right before I fast traveled. Okay. Whoa. Well, goddamn. I guess I might have to wait a little bit for that. I don't know. They were level one. It's The game was like, yeah, they're level one, man. I guess we're going to wait on that quest. God, that really, that really uh, threw me for a loop, man. I, I kind of got my ass kicked there. Um, I'm only playing on Adept. It shouldn't have... Uh, I mean, that's kind of the price you pay for modding, right? Like, some of the enemies are just gonna show up and show up and smack the hell out of you. Because, like, the regular bandits, I was killing them in, like, three arrows. I shot, like, five arrows into that guy. No. He just didn't do no anything. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. It's all right. What's up? Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. That's very strange. Uh... I'm an adventurer, a mercenary. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to 
get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Yeah. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Yeah. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to have... Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. All right. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Well, before I go, I'm going to go ahead and say my prayers. The power within! This is a weird way to pray to Talos, but all right. I figured I may have like screamed at the sky or something. I know we haven't done much camping from Campfire Frostfall, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. You know, it's uh, haven't really needed to, and haven't really had a lot of uh, camping things. I don't know. Maybe I'll do an episode where I camp next to a lake and do some fishing or something with some followers around, go swimming and shit. Come here! Why are you running? Why are you running? I'm gonna save, just in case that wasn't a fluke and all of the enemies are, like, super powerful and not just the saints. That was crazy. I'm still, like, having trouble believing that that happened the way it happened. <laughs> That's a really cool battle axe. I'm gonna take that. That looks really cool. Thick fur hood. That'll be useful up ahead, I'm sure. What's going on, big boy? This doesn't seem right. It's like my cloak isn't giving me any warmth, neither are any of my clothes. I'll have to investigate that, but later. <laughs> Dropped his ass. That should have like a lot of warmth on it, but they just... I don't know if it's like the, the armor mods I have are making these things just not have any... Making them not have any warmth or what. It is really strange to me though.
You are freezing. Yeah, because none of my fucking shit works. Hold on, let me... I'm gonna... Yeah, dude, it should definitely, like, do something. Yeah, look at this. Modify. Alright, we're gonna do... Fur. It's still not changing it. This is just not working, man. I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit and get it to, to function. Did we miss uh, getting to see that guy get fucking folded? Yeah. Snack. Snack. Dolphin. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> yes. I knew there was going to be some, some dank loot up there. I grew up in oblivion sewers, kid. Get out of here, you giant rat. Nerd. I did just notice something, though. Watch this. When I hit the wall... Dude, that, these mods are great. These mods are great. Literally right after I finish this mission and finish recording, I'm gonna go, uh, go investigate why that shit just ain't working right. That's bullshit, Batman. Oh, I took a, a coin out of those pockets. Before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw, asshole? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Well, all right. <laughs> I'll cut you down. I can feel it. Well, you asked me to cut you down first.
I honestly should have let him run forward and get hit by all the droggers, but dude, that honestly, I just couldn't resist. What's good, big boy? Go back to sleep. Ow! Ow! What? What? Dude. Guys are absolutely pounding my ass. Epic. Dude, this thing is gnarly looking. Look at that. I like the the weapon reskins. I just wish that uh, my campfire was working properly. I'll have to do some investigation. Oh, I can't talk to you. All right. They gave me the option to talk to him. I wanted to. I really wanted to. Ooh, Archer Battle. Dun 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 Ancient Nordic smack cam right there. Yeah, like once again, hold on, I just want to show that this is a testament to how strong those saints must be because if you if I go to settings and go to gameplay I'm still on adept I'm still on adept which means that those saints are just genuinely they're with it they got the they got all the smoke with them damn instant stagger dude ow Some of the reach on some of these weapons, I think, is a little fucked. But that's alright. Gotta steal and get on! Yeah, these enemies are definitely uh, a little bit more my speed for this level. Yeah, I've, you can tell I've played this game so many times because I know exactly what kind of enemies are where. I think it's that one that's going to bust open. <laughs> Dude, just, he rage quit the game, he just pitched that weapon across the fucking... <laughs> He's, he got spawn killed and just threw his controller.
I got wall hacks. Nice. Nerd. What goodies do you possess? Dog shit. It's actually better than nothing, I'll take it. Dude, once again... I've probably played this game more than Oblivion, to be honest. At least the starting quests. You're restless, go back to fucking sleep, asshole! Okay, we're good. Whoa, whoa, dude started breakdancing. What's going on? All these guys just... I guess they just forgot they're supposed to be fucking dead. I think that's their problem. They got promised to some kind of eternal reward for uh, being extra good homies to their lord and, and being buried with them, and instead they got this. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Yes! 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 Oh, shit. Fucking sliced my pot belly there for a second. Dude listened, uh, dude listened to too much Dragon Force before he, uh, came up against me. Oh, dude, this retexture looks good as hell. Dude. Oh, man! I'm like actually blown away. That look, dude, that looks phenomenal. Dude, you got the dog with him. All right. Let's see here. The claw. The claw. Bear, butterfly, owl. You guys ready to see me get killed by the Draugr Overlord in there? Do you guys see those high poly bats? <laughs> I actually didn't. Uh, download that mod because I was like why the hell do I need to see a high poly bat if they just appear on my screen for like two seconds like look I don't need that to be high poly like what the fuck All right, well, We're gonna save it right here Literally right here. I don't know what this fight's gonna be like with all these this stagger stuff and and the way I've got combat rolling Should be fun though. I, I'm probably gonna be able to dunk on him before he gets even out of the uh, the bed or whatever the bed, the tomb. Yeah, wake up, motherfucker. Dude, okay, I'm so happy about that, actually. I did not want to fight that dude. The dragon stone! What? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> a welking stone? Oh! I have no clue what mod adds that in, but I'm happy about it. I'll take it. I wonder if I can get a Varla stone. That'd be pretty sweet. But what is an Aeliad thing doing up here? Didn't, like, the Aeliads not rule Skyrim? That's breaking my immersion. I just can't, I just can't tolerate it. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I'm a super nerd. I knew this chest was back here. What do you think this is, man? I, I'd be, I'd be huffing Elder Scrolls. I'd be scratching the discs and snorting the stuff that comes off of them. Again, health. We're just hammering health for now. Um, I kind of want to get this Clash of Heroes, just so I have a little bit more survivability. I say that, but I should be, like, dumping points into uh, uh, heavy armor if I want more survivability. Well, that's okay. It's actually, it might be prettier at night. Oh, no, never mind. I'm going to say, because I can't see all the textures that aren't loaded in. <laughs> What's up, my Enwa? Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. They're all dead, bro. Ain't, ain't nothing to show them. I have the claw! You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Yeah, dude, I, uh... I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I shaved some gold off. I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Nice. I think they'll let me take shit now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too pricey for me to take, though. That's so funny. They'll be, they'll be like, oh, dude, just help yourself to, like, our actual coins. Help yourself to our swords. Help yourself to this goat cheese wheel. But, man, if you touch that A&R cheese, I swear to God. I swear to God. I will kill you. I will slaughter you. So that was fun, and now we have the dragon stone for when we do eventually get around to the quest. Uh, I just I just wanted to do an actual quest. First time playing it. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, it's really good to be back in Skyrim. It's not as clunky as uh, as Oblivion can be sometimes. As charming as Oblivion is, I think that uh, as charming as Oblivion is, I think that uh, Skyrim is a much better game in terms of functionality. Definitely not in writing um, or in world building. But functionality, certainly. Um, I do kind of miss, uh, you know, the mysticism uh, skill uh, and, and school of magic. I do kind of miss a few things from Oblivion, hand-to-hand -hand being one of them. Um, but this has been really fun. I've been really, really having a blast here. Uh, I'm going to fix Campfire, because it's just clearly not working. Uh, it's not assigning values or frost frostfall isn't. I'm going to look for patch mods for it and try a couple of different save games just to not fuck up our playthrough here. Um, but I'll definitely get that checked out, get that fixed for next time. Whenever next time may be. I imagine I can get like two, three episodes out of this. So we'll just have to see. Uh, probably two, even though I've got like three hours recorded. It's just like there's a lot of walking. Just a lot of walking, you know. Uh, yeah, right now I'm at three hours and 40 minutes. It shouldn't be that bad. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm very excited to have, have brought this to you. Uh, I'm saying this kind of prematurely. I don't know if you guys will be excited about it. <laughs> the first video will release before I'm even talking about this. Before this is even in here. 
Uh, so I don't know why I'm ending it with a thank you when I should really be doing a, a, a thank you in post. Uh, but that's just my lack of ability to short-term plan. 